Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mitsuko and thank you for stopping by. Okay, let's get started. So first up, I'm using the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. This primer, I've been trying it out for a few weeks now. It's hydrating, feels nice on the skin, but it doesn't blur enough for me. To even out my base, I'm using the LA Pro Girl Concealer in Fawn and blending it out with the Beauty Blender. Then setting it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. For my eyeshadow, I love using the CoverGirl Queen Collection in Ebony. I believe it's discontinued, but you can use any bronzer for this look. This is simple and easy. I just blend the bronzer all over my eyelids and right at the beginning of my nose bridge. Yeah. For my complexion, I'm using the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation in Macau, mixed with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Rose Gold. These two together are the perfect combo for glowing skin. I'm using the Marc Jacobs The Face 3 to blend the mixture. To highlight, I'm using the LA Pro Girl Concealer in Fawn and then adding the NARS Creamy Concealer in Caramel, then contouring with the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Espresso. To blend my contour, I'm using the Makeup Forever brush number 108. Then blending my highlight with the Beauty Blender sponge. Then use the excess product from the sponge to reverse contour. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder with the Beauty Blender sponge to set every area that I highlighted and also just making sure I set my smile lines. To set the rest of my face, I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark with the Makeup Forever brush number 130. Just to bring back some warmth to my face, I'm bronzing with the CoverGirl Queen Collection in Ebony and applying it with the Marc Jacob brush number 79, the Mega. I added too much bronzer, so I'm using my finishing powder just to tone it down. After cleaning up my brows, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony to shape them. Then I go in with the Urban Decay Brow Blade in Dark Drapes. The ink stain is perfect for adding hair-like strokes. Then to finish the brows, I'm using the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. For my blush, I'm using the NARS Taj Mahal and applying it with the Marc Jacobs The Bronze Brush Number 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
This step is optional, but I really like adding bronzer to my bottom lids. I'm using the shade Bronze from the Anastasia Sandip palette just to highlight the bridge of my nose, the tip of my brows, and the highest part of my cheekbones. And applying it with the Makeup Forever brush number 134. I'm using a clean Real Techniques powder brush to dust off the setting powder. To finish up the eyes, I'm adding my highlight to my eyelids and also adding the Bobbi Brown Sunset Glow highlight as well. Now to set my face, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Setting Spray and this spray is heaven. It will keep your makeup in place for real. Personally, I like to add my mascara after setting my face and I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Yeah, 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 yeah. To finish up the look, I'm using the Fenty Lip Gloss in Fenty Glow and the MAC Lipstick in Taupe. And I really like this combo because I find that it brings out my natural lip color. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed watching my first video on YouTube and hopefully I'll see you next week. So don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Thank you.